Hey everyone, welcome to the Earl Davy Symposium. My name is Stephen, and I'm a master's student in Dr. Hugh Kim's lab in, UB, in CBR UBC. And today my talk will be the pro-inflammatory role of platelet signaling in rheumatoid arthritis. So first of all, a little bit background information about rheumatoid arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disease that destroys the cartilage and the bone uh, and uh, if the disease progresses very far, it causes a disability. Many Canadians have it, so that's why it's very significant. Uh, the pathogenesis includes the generation of a protein that's abnormally citrullinated, and body responds by producing an antibody that's against that, and then a second antibody that's against the first antibody. Uh, and all those antibody protein complexes uh, activate uh, complement proteins, and that results in intense inflammation and joint damage. And two other components that are involved in pathogenesis of rheumatoid arthritis include fibroblast-like synoviocytes and platelets. Fibroblast-like synoviocytes, they normally live in the intimal layer of the joint. Normally, they secrete uh, nutrients and uh, extracellular components, extracellular matrix to the cartilage. But under inflammatory conditions, they can uh, degrade the joint. Platelets, uh, platelets, they function, uh, they're responsible for blood clotting, but they are also responsible for inflammation by secreting uh, cytokines. Their, uh, their functions can be summarized in this picture right here. So first of all, uh, in rheumatoid arthritis patients, they have elevated level of circulating cytokines. These cytokines activate resting platelets, causing them to secrete pro-inflammatory compounds like uh, including PF4, platelet factor four. They also secrete uh, interleukin-1 uh, containing microparticles. These microparticles activate fibroblast-like synoviocytes, and that causes uh, immune cell activation and uh, by secreting cytokines. And they also secrete MMPs, matrix metalloproteinases, and they cause uh, cartilage degradation. So the hypothesis of this study is that platelet factor four also promotes uh, uh, the tissue degrading phenotype in fibroblast-like synoviocytes. The cell line, the, the model we use is a cell line. Instead of using a cancer cell line as in the previous studies, uh, because cancer cell lines uh, don't really work because uh, their phenotypes are very different from normal cells, so we start, so in this study, we're going to use a cell line that's derived from healthy synovium. The outline of this study is to use this uh, healthy synovium derived cell line called K4IM cell. It's right here. Uh, we, add, we are going to add platelet factor four to the medium of this cell line. And then uh, of course, at different concentration and uh, for a different amount of time. Uh, after that, we will measure the level of matrix metalloproteinases and cytokines, both by using a multiplexed ELISA and qPCR. Uh, the idea of using two different methods to measure the same thing is that we want to make sure that our results are very accurate. And then we are going to, uh, we are going to measure the proliferation rate of these cells because uh, during rheumatoid arthritis, when uh, these cells are activated, they proliferate and invade surrounding tissues. So that's why we wanna measure the proliferation rate. Um, we use a technique called EDU uh, proliferation assay. It measures the DNA uh, synthesis rate because uh, these cell lines, uh, uh, these synovial sites, they don't do uh, poly, they don't have polyploidy. Uh, the rate of DNA synthesis corresponds very uh, well with uh, proliferation rate. And as always, we are very uh, thankful to our funding agencies that make this work possible. 
And if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us at this email address right here. And thank you so much for watching. Have a very nice day.